Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Wednesday catch-up. In last week's catch-up, I mentioned that I was contemplating building a copper steam boiler just to run my engines in the garden. I've done some calculations. Um, I've got enough material to do the job, and it will, in fact, run my engines, obviously not in full power, but it'll supply enough steam to make them grow, which is basically all I wanted to do. On the subject of boilers, I'm going to show the video of the hydraulic test on the boiler I bought two or three weeks ago which doesn't really have the outcome I want but anyway I'm going to let you have a, a look at that I'm sure you'll find it interesting. That's quite a bit of video I may come in there this week I'm going to show you some of that probably in this week's nightcap. Uh, one thing that's also come is a, a diesel heater from Banggood one of the new generation uh, suitcase type heaters for us to do a review on which is ideal because the cool weather's coming so that's something to look forward to in the next week or two. I collected this steam boiler last week from Lincoln. The history I knew on it was built 25 years ago. It was pressure tested and steamed once and then it's been dry stored. I fully realised that if I need to use this in public, I'll need a proper boiler test on it with a certificate so I can get it insured. But for my own use in a garden, I can hydraulic it myself and I can do whatever I like with it basically. So I'm going to put a hydraulic test on it and that will just say whether I've basically bought a steam boiler or a very expensive patio heater. I'm going to remove all the fittings, put some blanket plugs in. But first we're going to have a look inside it. It certainly looks to be in good condition. Basically past the hammer test, those tubes in there are quite rusty, it's got some cross tubes in there. I think I said I'm going to fill it with water, pump it up, R175 PSI, safe working pressure. The test for that is one and a half times working pressure. I'm going to go twice, I'm going to put 150 PSI hydraulic in this. If it stands out, I'll steam it to 75 pound. It is heavy. Right, so we'll get some of these fittings off, safety valve, I'll leave the pressure gauge on, water gauge wants to come off, and then we'll try and get it pumped up. It, it's nice, it's pretty, I like the rivets, it looks, uh, it looks really nice. Got a big washout plug there, must be a drain in the bottom. Proper steam valve that one. We'll use this one to fill it with basically the highest point on the on the boiler. All these fittings have been welded in, the welds look good, but what can you see? Take this one out as well and put a blanket plug in there, I think. Maybe he's not. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's a, it's an uh, it's a, it's a tape tape piece. Whether it's been made into a, a clack valve or I don't know. Very really interesting. I think a lot of these bits have been added on at a later date. And it's just a straightforward tape piece. That's all that is. We'll put a blank in there. The water gauge has been sort of hand cobbled together from various fittings. That'll need changing. I'm really very happy with that. Most of my sort of mechanical tools are dissolvent with that at work. I did keep that one item on to snap one screwdriver. I put all the bits in again. I've had that a long time. Uh, really is a nice bit of kit. See this water gauge. It's just been made up all the various fittings. That's definitely been added on since the, uh, the boiler was built. I 
They look like 8th BSP fittings in there. I've got some 8th BSP blanks. Hmm. I'm going to take that out of there and have a look inside, see how much rust in there. But for the minute, we'll just get a, a hydraulic test on it and go from there. what this thing here is It'll come out like a drain valve of some description and put a blank in there as well yeah, all these wells are quite nicely done and there's water in there that's not a good sign do you don't need water standing there for 25 years, but we're going to get some blanks and see if we can get it pumped up. I've got some eight blanks here, they're parallel blanks. I've got a, a doughty washer on the end. Blank to go there to tape our thread, so we'll put some PFE tape on there. One more drain in the bottom is that one. That's a quarter. And a quarter BSP parallel that should do the job. Right, just a case of filling the boil out of water now. Up to the top of water and then we can pump it up. Right, the boiler is full of water up to the top now. There's nothing running out, so that's a good, a good sign. This is the highest point. There's a little bit there, but basically it's full of water, so we can now pump some more water in, and it'll lift the pressure fairly quickly because you can't compress water. Well, I certainly can't. This is how we find out whether it's going to be any good or it's not going to be any good. The chance you take it was bought in good faith. Right. Turn it around so you can see the 
pressure gauge on there. I've also got a, a calibrated gauge on the test pump. I need to pump some water through. Right. This is where it gets interesting. Right then. There will be a little bit of air in the top of there, it's compressing the air. It's starting to go up there now. Right, well above 160. I think the edge is accurate because it's seeing the same. On there, we'll leave the pressure on for a while and see what happens. We're up in there, what's looking? It's looking good. I've been had a cup of coffee and the pressure has dropped. There's no obvious leaks on the outside. And we'll turn it over and have a look underneath uh, where the tubes are. See, there's nothing, nothing obvious, but the pressure has certainly dropped. Right, I've been to get my torch and it's dropped even more. And the tubes are wet, the top tube's wet. So it's got a leaking tube where it's been welded into the, into the centre flue. Oh, I do believe that. It's typical of me, look this. It basically, it's no good for what I want it for. You'd have to dismantle it to repair it and I'm not going to be doing that. So I think what we've got here is an expensive patio heater. And some nice gauges and fittings on it, but it's no good as a steam boiler, unfortunately. I'll try and get the camera out there and have a look inside. There's no doubt about it, the tubes are wet, and there's only one way they've become wet. It's not squirting out, but it's it's definitely wet. Once again, just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I keep banging on about mental health, but it really is important, um, especially for men, women as well. But blokes seem to have like a stigma about mental health. They'll not talk about it. And uh, it ends up with often disastrous consequences. I mean, I'm supposed to be a big, rough, tough Geordie, and I'll tell you what it is, it had me right knackered, absolutely knackered. Anyway, that's all for me waffling on. Thanks for watching.